Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I hope you all had a fun and safe Halloween yesterday. So starting today, I'm only going to be doing mostly my combo videos for this month, simply because, you know, I've already got a lot of deck profiles. So I'm going to try to get as many combo videos out as uh, for this month as I can, especially before Thanksgiving. And once the holiday season officially starts, I gotta, I'm going to be really busy. So, but yeah, fair, you know, try to get you guys as many uploads and Yu-Gi-Oh content as possible. And well, might as well just get started, right? So for today, I'm actually doing a combo video on my dinosaurs. I know this has actually been requested. And yeah, this is definitely uh, one of the most competitive decks right now. Definitely one of the best too, because like the dinosaurs being tier one, like that, that's amazing. So anyway, fair to show you guys what I got. And as always, I'm just going to do two test hands and hopefully you guys will enjoy this. So let's see what we got on our opening hand. Okay, Pot of Extravagance, that's actually an amazing start. Okay, Nibiru, so in case we lost the dice roll, we'd definitely be, we'd be uh, going second. Okay, we got Soul Eden Ovi Raptor. Oh, nice. Cypher and uh, Gear Gamma, so this will definitely help. And last but not least, Dino Wrestler Pankratops. Um, going first, this card doesn't do much, but, you know, going second, you know, especially if your opponent happened to figure out how to break your board, well, that's not going to be much of a problem. But I guess we'll start things off by going into our main phase, since Pot of Extravagance has to be the first card you activate. I'll banish six cards. Uh, let's see here. Let me shuffle up my extra deck a bit. And, dude... Then we'll do the top three and the bottom three. So we pay our cost. Let's see what I lost real quick. Okay, not too bad, actually. I can make do with that. And of course, if your opponent tried to ash you, you do have the Cypher and Gear Gamma, which is a good way to defend yourself. So activate that. And then special summon the driver. And then shuffle, and then we could draw our two cards. All right, let's see what we're drawing to. Okay. Oh, nice, baby. And, oh, another extravagance. Well, fortunately, we can't activate any more this turn, but that's fine. Um, we'll just save. Hang on to that. So, starting off with, we'd normal summon our Soul Eating Ovi Raptor. Uses ability to search. In this case, since we already got a, a baby in our hand, I'm actually going to go ahead and search out the Miscellaneous Horse. Miscellaneous Horse effect this card, so our dinosaurs kind of stay safe for this turn. And then we'll use Miscellaneous Horse effect to banish. And we're going to go ahead and special summon Animadorn Archosaur since it is level 1. Archosaur effect when it's summoned, we're going to destroy Baby. And then we're going to go ahead and use that to search our double evolution pill. Alright. Uh, baby's mandatory effect. We're going to go ahead and special summon another level 4 or below dinosaur. Uh, let's go with... We're actually going to go ahead and special summon another Baby. Just kind of like grind the deck out a bit. Next, I'm actually going to go ahead and link off the... Uh, Animador and Archosaur, and let's go with the uh, Cyframe Gear Drive, or Cyframe Driver, and then we're going to go ahead and make our Lambda. Let me finish shuffling here real quick. All right. And the reason I'm doing this is simply because I'm, I want to let this get banished. That way I can search out another one on the end phase during with uh, Lambda's effect. And thankfully I didn't banish it with the uh, Extravagance. All right, next, we're going to go ahead and use Ovi Raptor's effect. We're going to pop this baby to special summon back this one. And then uh, the effect of this one will trigger. And then now we can special summon yet another dinosaur. In this case, we're going to go ahead and go for Giant Rex. Just because I feel like that's the politically correct choice to go with. Next, Overlay. And two, Evulsar Dulka. That way we at least have multiple uh, monster negates. And finally, since our, uh, actually our graveyard, yep, our graveyard should be live right about now. Uh, since we're go, since we kind of went first anyway, we could probably get rid of the, the primal being if we wanted to. That's what I'm trying to think right now. Do I want to go with that? Yeah, let's do it. We're going to go and activate double evolution. We'll banish, uh, the Archosaur and we'll banish the Nibiru. Simply because at this point I really don't need it that much anymore. So... Yeah, and we're pretty much set to go. So we're going to go and bring out Tyranno. That way we have uh, multiple disruptions here. So we got two Monster Negates. We still got this Book of Eclipse, which thankfully we do have a baby Sarasaurus to pop. And at the end of the turn, this gets banished. And then this effect will trigger during the end phase because the Psychic Monster was banished this turn. We can add another copy of Cypherm Gear Gamma. And thankfully, thanks to Lambda, we are allowed to activate it from our hand even though we have monsters available on the field so that actually helps quite a lot 
So your opponent, you know, summons a few monsters. You'd use this effect now to pop during his turn. Just keep this in mind. Uh, pop the baby Ceresaurus, flip all monsters face down. Baby's effect will trigger for during your opponent's turn, of course. Like I said, go into Oviraptor again, Oviraptor effect. Um, might as well just search out another miscellaneous source. I feel like that's going gonna, gonna to be the best move here. And yeah, and now you have built-in protection. So, And if your opponent tries to use any monster effects of any kind, well, this is not once per turn, so you can just detach two materials within that turn. So yeah, it'll really come in clutch when you really need it. So yeah, that's just the general idea how this deck plays going first. Now let's see what we can do going second. All right, so let me shuffle everything back and let's see if we can do a little bit better. But yeah, Dinosaurs, definitely an OP deck if you, if you have the right cards, you know, which generally you should most of the time anyway. And the fact that this deck plays so many hand traps is also really nuts. Okay. So this is going to be our going second hand now, so let's see what we got now. Okay, we got Nibiru again, so that's actually really nice. Oh, so far this is looking like the exact same hand. Okay, we got a baby. Oh, no, we got the driver, so that's kind of a dead card, sort of. But we do have Extravagant, so that actually helps too. So your opponent goes first this time you know if it's a since we're mostly in a combo heavy deck or combo heavy format um nibiru will definitely come in clutch you know just do it at the right time against dragon link as soon as they bring out that metal marcher or whatever or link cross which by then they should have like uh five summons just slap that nibiru of course your opponent's gonna get a token uh, let's just use this one right here actually Oops. so we'll use what do we got here yeah we could just use this one right here i'll just use them uh Give him this token right here. Just one of my custom made tokens. And then, depending on what its attack stats are, you know, it's easy to get around it anyway because of Tyranno. But yeah, like, honestly, most of the time I just put it in defense mode. And then our turn would start. We draw for turn. Okay, Petite. So, main phase one. Activate Extravagant. So, same thing as before. Just uh, banish the top three. Or we're going to banish six cards, but top three and bottom three again. So, let's see. Hopefully I didn't lose, like, the best ones. Ah, actually, not too bad. Fortunately, I did lose Lambda this time around, so, but that's not going to be too bad. So we'll draw our two. Oh, nice, terraforming <laughs> in the Lost World. Oh, well, at least I'm guaranteed another one. So, in Lost World's effect is not a hard ones per turn at all. It's actually a soft ones per turn, so you could do multiple copies. So we're going to go and activate terraforming, just to get another Lost World to our hand. You know, just kind of grind the deck out a bit. Oops, shoot, I dropped some cards. And then, of course, once that resolves, we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna go ahead and activate that Lost World, and then Normal Summon Soiding Over Raptor. Effective Over Raptor, Chain League One. Effective Lost World, Chain League Two. Give your opponent another token, and thankfully, since your opponent already has a token available on him, he's not gonna be able to allow, he's not gonna be able to target anything except tokens. So, this dodges cards like Infinite and Permanence and Effect Veiler. So yeah, so just give him another token. So, I know I have the official direct tokens I just forgot to bring with me, but it's fine. We'll just use these for right now. Uh, so, I guess with Oviraptor, I'm going to go ahead and search. Yeah, we're going to go and search. We're going to go ahead and search out a uh, Miscellaneous Source. And then we're going to go and use Miscellaneous Source effect again, so that will make sure our dinosaurs stay safe. Because you never know if your opponent's going to have another Nibiru. Well, he's going to have a Nibiru himself, too. So, you just got to be... As long as you have your dinosaurs, essentially, that's what you mainly want to focus on. So same thing as before, we'll banish the miscellaneous horse. We're going to special summon Archosaur. And this time with Archosaur, I guess what we could do is pop... Do we really want to pop Petite to right now? No, we're going to go for Baby. Yeah, we'll destroy Baby. And then get our double evolution pill again. And then with uh, Soul Eating Over Raptor, we're going to target this token with his effect, but we're actually going to save that token and pop another uh, baby from our hand. Or not from our hand, from our deck. Oh, actually, I forgot to resolve this effect first. So this baby's effect will resolve. Uh, we're actually going to go ahead and special summon. Let's see. Yeah, let's go for uh, Giant Rex. So same thing as before. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and use uh, Over Raptor's effect, pop. The token but we're going to save it with lost world's second effect 
We're gonna pop this baby. This baby's effect will trigger, allowing us to special summon yet another dinosaur. Uh, I guess we'll just go for another miscellaneous source. Why not? All right, so now this is where things get a little different. So first, we're actually gonna go ahead and link off uh, the Animadorn Archosaur into Link Rebo. I don't believe I have a, oh, I don't actually have a uh, Secure Gardener this time. I must have banished it, but well, that's perfectly fine, honestly. Uh, what we could actually do is link off the uh, Link Rebo with the uh, Giant Rex now. And this actually works out perfectly, especially because I still have my Penta stack, thankfully. All right, so at least now we have double evolution pill life guaranteed. And just for uh, just for the sake of it, we're gonna go and overlay the two level four dinosaurs we still have left over for another Dulka. Next up, we're gonna go ahead and activate um, double evolution pill. This time we're gonna go ahead and banish the uh, giant Rex together with the uh, Link Reba. And same as before, we're actually gonna go ahead and special summon Ultimate Conductor Tyranno. Now, of course, since you know your opponent is most likely only gonna have a, two tokens at this point, we're not gonna use this effect. So this, however, uh, means we still have a, a petite Tyranodon. So next turn, if your opponent tries somehow survives this, which generally at this point you should have enough to really uh, OTK him, and also Giant Rex's effect will trigger special. Now you can't attack directly, sadly, but that's perfectly fine. Um, so, yeah, at this point, you should be good to go. So, entering your battle phase, Tyranno will attack the first token, and this time we're just going to go ahead and do the piercing damage for a full 3,500. Then you'll attack over this token, again, depending on what its stats are. If it's if it has, like, huge stats, then, uh, go ahead and use Tyranno's effect. If it has, like, zero defense points, because, you know, Lake Monsters don't have defense modes, uh, you could just do the piercing damage with this, too, so... Let's say you did have the piercing damage, that's 7,000, and honestly at this point it should just be game. But yeah, like again, if you did, if it had a big stat, just go go for the full 1,000, so that's 45. Attack with 3,000, so that's uh, 7,500. So yeah, that's more than enough for game, really. So your opponent most likely would get OTK'd with this one. So yeah, that's generally it. Oh, hopefully you guys enjoy this, and as always, I will catch you guys again next time.